Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina and today's pick a card is messages from our future self. So we're going to, you know, find out what we can look forward to or what we have to take care of between now and then or what's coming in, things like that. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right. Pile one, we have June. Pile two, we have May. Pile three, we have November. Pile four, we have July. So take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to. I wouldn't really pay attention to the month so much. Just kind of feel your pile. I don't know, maybe you're drawn to the picture or whatever, but um, yeah, do, what, do what's right for you. And uh, I'm going to get started with pile one. All right, pile one. Your higher self is coming to you from this coming June. All right, so that's when we'll get your messages. It's going to be either around that time or from now until June. Something you have to do. I don't know. We'll see what, what comes out, okay? Let's get your tarot. Hierophant, the devil, strength. I was going to say, look at all these majors. Um, the king of cups and the king of swords. Wow. Three majors and two kings. Pretty strong reading, I would say. Oh, you're trying to make a decision here. You need to find your courage. You need to find your strength to do something here. But you're holding yourself back. Usually when we hold ourselves back, it's because we're afraid of the consequences. Right? Afraid of what's going to happen in the future. And so the higher friend says, you know, you're looking for answers. You're trying to figure out what to do here. So there's going to be a situation that you need strength on. So they want you to know that you are the King of Cups and the King of Swords. You are very loving, kind, and generous, but you're also very all-knowing. You're very wise and smart, and you're fair, and you're a good person. So they want you to see both sides of that. They want you to see that you're loving and generous, and that you're smart and fair. You do things that are right, right? You do things that are right. You do things that are fair. You, you, so whatever's happening is happening for a reason and they don't want you to beat yourself up they want you to do what you need to do and and make the decision that's best for you come june i don't know what it's involving yet but we'll get some more cards and maybe we can figure it out financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past all right well that's good but that doesn't help us with what's going on here but financial abundance is always um, good to have success assured with good plans and hard work all right so you're going to be successful so it's kind of leading me to believe that there's going to be a decision you have to make that's going to better your future maybe your financial future and you're by making this decision maybe you it, you're kind of feeling maybe selfish from it um but it's going to benefit you because it benefits you you're going to do what's right for you and maybe it hurts somebody else or maybe somebody else won't like it i don't know yet i don't know yet but um you know it, it has a, a, a the decision has to do with money so what I'm getting is by June, you have to make a decision when it comes to um, something that has to do with your pocketbook. And you making this decision might hurt somebody else. So maybe by you choosing your pocketbook, somebody else is going to be losing out. I don't know. But you got to do what's right for you, you know? Yeah. That other person, if this, if that's the scenario, if that other person has their own life to worry about. So uh, try not to feel guilty over doing what's right for you. 
Igniting courage. I am strong, valiant, and courageous. So see, they're building you up right now. They're building you up for this. They're getting you prepared, that, saying that you're going to have to do something that's going to be tough on you. It might be a hard decision. Maybe it's a, maybe you've got to like move on from a business partner, right? Maybe you have to fly solo. There's there's something here, okay, that it, it's going to benefit you financially, but it's going to hurt hurt somebody else. So they are trying to build your courage and to let you know that you're making the right decision for you, that it's okay to do this. But I still think you're going to struggle with it, whatever it is. <sighs> Love is never in vain. All right, so what they're saying is that, like, Maybe somebody's going to betray you. No, but you're going to benefit. Well, what they're saying that is whatever, whatever, you know, whatever you did for your highest good, you know, whatever you did with pure intentions, uh, if you didn't deliberately try to hurt someone or, you know, deliberately try to, you know, uh, sabotage something. Like if you're doing it with good intentions, it wasn't in vain. Cause like sometimes we beat ourselves up for doing something good when it's not appreciated, right? All that work I put into that, all that work I did, and now I'm getting screwed over, or I'm not, I'm not being appreciated, or I'm getting walked on. They don't want you to feel bad about what the energy and the effort that you put in because it wasn't in vain. It, there was a reason for it. So don't have any regrets. Inner peace. I think you're doing what you need to do to find your inner peace. So a decision that you're making or something here is, it's for you. You're doing it for your inner peace. And you know, uh, it might seem selfish, but that's what you really need to do. You need to live this life for you. It's your life. Nobody else is going to take care of you if you don't take care of yourself. So you got to do what you do have to do what's right for your inner peace. And I think that's what you're choosing to do, but, or you're struggling choosing to do it. Like, you know, that's what you should do or what you want to do, but you're feeling guilty or bad about something else. I don't know. Goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident. You will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. So if you need to let yourself fly, if you need to let yourself do well, but you're leaving people behind, this is saying, don't worry. The loyal ones will be there for you. The loyal ones will support you. All right? They'll understand that you're doing what's right for you. And you're doing what's right for you because that your soul knows the way. That your soul knows where you should be going. What direction you're going in. So again, don't feel bad. You're going to have a hard time with this, but you're, you shouldn't. Break up separation. Yeah. I, I, it does kind of feel like you're separating yourself from someone. And maybe this is all romantic. Maybe you're separating some from somebody romantically. But for me, it kind of feels business with all this money here. It feels like it's a business thing. Like maybe uh, you talked about starting a business with someone, but uh, you just feel weird about it. Like something feels off, so you want to do it on your own. And you, but you feel guilty because you did, you know, have those ideas with someone else. But you got to do what's right for you. And this is saying the right person will support you. you got to do what's right for you. So it looks like you are separating yourself from someone. Divine sensuality, making love erotica. Well, something's going to go right. <laughs> something's going to go right. There's a breakup here, but there's some, there's some uh, intimate time coming in for you. So... I don't know. I think that's a good thing. I think that's saying that that's one of many blessings that are going to happen for you, even though you're making a tough decision. 
even though you might be hurting somebody. You got a blessing here. This could be a love situation. It could be you, you know, leaving one person for another. Um, again, you got to do what's right for you. Bitch fire, stand up for yourself. Yeah, because if you don't, so, see, that's just saying don't let anybody walk all over you because somebody's going to try. Somebody's going to try and guilt trip you. Somebody's going to try and make you feel bad. And this is like, nope. You got to find that bitch fire inside of yourself and stand up for yourself. You're doing what's right for you. You know it. They know it. They don't like it, but they know it. And uh, in the long run, if they are any kind of good person, they'll say, ah, they're making the right decision for them. It hurts me and I don't like it and I don't want to see it, but it's, it's what's right for them. Right? Somebody who's fair will see that. Wow. All right, pile one. I don't know what's going on, but this is interesting. Let's get some charms. Yeah, they're saying, look, you are going in the right direction, right? There's a soulmate here and a best friend. So you could be finding a soulmate and a best friend. Your angels are here loving you, supporting you, and you got some communication there with that telephone. Somebody's reaching out. Somebody, You're going to be talking to somebody back and forth. You might be having some kind of a light bulb moment or epiphany. Either that or your path is being illuminated. You'll, you'll, you're knowing what you should do, what you have to do. You got a little bitty heart here, so there is some kind of love here. <laughs> And then finally you got the unicorn saying that, you know, uh, something magical is happening for you. Yeah, uh, you gotta be, you gotta be happy for yourself, you know? So, I don't know, Pile One, but I think something really great is happening for you, even though it's going to be a tough, tough thing to do. I think it's going to be worth it. All right, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose May, then this one is your reading. Let's get some cards for you. Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, Temperance, Chariot, Full. All right, what's going on here? You're bossing up somehow, some way. Something, um, something's working out for you. Maybe something that you've been worried about that that uh, maybe something wasn't going your way for a while, but now all of a sudden there's going to be a sudden change. Temperance. It's like you were patient. You did what you had to do. You kind of bossed up. You kind of, I don't know how to say what they're trying to make me feel. You worked hard for something. You, you put some energy into something. You really, um, you know, did your best. And now, because you did your best, maybe like um, a disappointment's turning into a blessing. You're, you're getting a reward. You're doing, you're making... I don't even want to say it's a reward because you worked for it. It's something you've earned. But there's something uh, special or really great coming in for you. Like uh, some kind of success here, some kind of victory with the chariot. And it's going to lead you to a new beginning, um, a new adventure. So I don't know what the situation is. It, maybe it's, you know... Maybe you were working hard on yourself, improving yourself, and then somebody noticed you, and now you're on a new adventure with a new love and your new love interest. Or maybe you worked really hard at school, and you studied really hard, you got really good grades, and now you are about to start a dream job, or you know, a good job. Or 
you know, maybe you worked really hard at work and you're about to, um, you know, get a promotion or raise. There's, I don't know. There's something that you put energy into. You like really bossed up. You, you did what you had to do. And there's going to be like a sudden change. Like, um, like it took maybe, I don't know. Temperance is like, get ready for change. Get ready for it. And I keep saying sudden when temperance usually is like you were patient and then it changed. Um, but with the chariot here, it kind of feels like it's going to be a fast change. So that's why I keep saying sudden change because of the chariot. But I don't know if it's really sudden because temperance usually takes its time. But I don't know. It, it's a change. <laughs> it's a change. Let's see. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Oh, so maybe you have competition. Maybe that was the issue. Maybe you had competition and they're saying, ah, don't worry, you're going to take it. You're going to get the W. All right, whatever. It's not a big deal. You're, you're, you're getting something. You're having some kind of victory, so... Stepping into a new experience. Yeah, so you're going to be doing something different. It's going to be something you haven't done before, something uh, new. It could be a new person. It could be, like I said, a raise or promotion, a new job you haven't done before. It could be a new job. It could just be something different. So it's all tying in. I just haven't pinpointed exactly what it is, but that's all right because you'll probably figure it out. This reading's for you. You'll figure it out. Making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. Well, I just think that that's you in general. Like you are making a difference. Um, maybe you are leading by example because you really earned whatever the success is. You've earned it. You you've made a difference. So uh, you know, if this is about like a job situation, the higher ups have seen that you're making a difference that you're doing a great job, that you put effort in, that you care. So you are making a difference. Whatever you're doing or whatever you have been doing has made a difference. So don't ever feel like it, you did something in vain because you didn't. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. So there you go. So I was kind of feeling like you were disappointed in something. Like you, I feel like you worked really hard at something because you were disappointed. So, you know, maybe you worked really hard at studying because you got a bad grade, right? Or you worked really hard because you were rejected by someone. And so you worked, maybe you, you know, dieted and exercised and now you're amazing. And, and, you know, because you had such a disappointment in the past, now you're like, it was all worth it because now you got some really great stuff coming in. So, uh, I don't know, but I feel like something didn't work out for you. And now it really is in a different, much better way for you. So some excitement. Truth. Truth. I think that's talking about because you were honest with yourself. You realized you had to do something. You realized you had to make an effort. You realized that you had to put, put some work in. You realized the truth. You were honest with yourself. You faced it. You put the work in. Now you're being rewarded. That's what I got from that. They're confirming it, so that's good. All right, polar bear, mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. <laughs> this is perfect, right? Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest and dream and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities and carry the shaman within. So this is saying that, yeah, you might have faced some adversity or an issue, a problem, a challenge, and you faced it. And now it's saying... You know, if you have faith when things go wrong, have faith in yourself that you could correct the problem or, you know, overcome the problem or, you know, fix an issue. When you have faith in yourself, you're going to have something really great 
come out of that, you will be rewarded. And I think that's exactly what you did. I feel like you were faced with some kind of a challenge. You stepped up to the plate. You bossed up. Now I understand why they kept saying boss up, boss up. Right? You bossed up. And now you're going to get your reward. Well, it's not really a reward because you've earned it. Like I, 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 a reward is something that you, you know, you did something special, whatever, you get a treat. But this, like, I feel like it's like, it's well deserved. Lightning, sudden change. Here we go. Now I also know why I was saying sudden change because you have the lightning. There's going to be a change. There's some kind of a change. And it's a really good positive one for you. So oh, this is exciting. I feel excited for you. The call of the, or the song of the siren, the call, summoning voice to acknowledge. So something's been calling you, something. See, I think that's why you bossed up because something was calling you. So, like there was, um, you know, say it was a, a career choice right that career choice was calling you so you had to work hard to get good grades to or to get the job or or to to do whatever you had to do because this this you know this was your path this was calling to you this is your calling or it could be you know you worked really hard because you um you worked really hard on yourself to make yourself better because you have a, a an interest in somebody romantically whatever it is you 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 did the work so congratulations <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you <sighs> should i play one all right tree let them go all right so what i'm feeling from that is you have to let something go it doesn't have, have to be a them, but you have to let something go. So an earlier disappointment, you have to let that go. Whatever that disappointment was, you have to let that go because now you, you worked hard and you got something better coming in. You got something much better. So you got to let go of that other disappointment. So if it was a person, somebody rejected you, you still might have, you know, I, I'm working hard on myself, making myself beautiful because I'm going to show them what they what they missed out on. Well, they're saying, let that go. Let them go. It, you did it for you to feel better about yourself. And now you're attracting somebody so much better than that person was. So don't think that you did it for them. You did it for you. All right. Let them go. You don't need to hang on to them because they're unworthy of you. So whatever it is, just let it go. The past disappointment, let it go. Because now you got something amazing. Let's pull you some charms. All right. I'm going to move that down. We got the gingerbread. Um... I don't know for me I'm getting strength from that from that charm I don't know why but now um, I'm feeling like that's your strength your strength came out you showed yourself how strong you were and now you're getting the reward but for some reason this is really saying strength to me which is unusual but that we're going with it because it, it fits you have the key to success you have some best friend energy here. I don't know what this rubber ducky is to you, but um, for me, it's a best friend. Uh, I always think of Sesame Street, you know, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It, you know, I as a kid, I love Sesame Street, I guess. And rubber ducky was Ernie's best friend. So I really do think that... Um, you have some kind of best friend here <laughs> supporting you, cheering you on, or maybe you're making a new best friend. I don't know, but it's a good thing. Luck on your side. Uh, some communication here with the telephone. It's an old-fashioned flip phone charm, but it's a telephone, so there's some communication coming in for you. All right. Um, 
we have some stability with the tree. All right, so strength, stability, that's good. Uh, we have the Mustang. So again, that just reminds me of your energy where you didn't give up. You, you, you got into stallion mode and you just was like you pushed forward. You had horsepower. You just went for it. You just did what you needed to do to get better or to, to move along something. All right. That's again, it's strength for a lot of these charms are like saying you have strength. I guess they're just saying, you know, they just want you to be proud of yourself. You know, you got the megaphone, so somebody's your cheerleader. Maybe your best friend is your cheerleader, but somebody's a cheerleader for you. Now, you got the Florida Lee, and this one has me a little bit stuck. But again, it could mean strength because the Florida Lee represents the saints, right? And for some reason, I always go back to Joan of Arc with that. Um, it reminds me of Joan of Arc where she was strong. She stood up for what she believed in. She didn't care that people told her no. She did what she needed to do. She did it in secret, but she did it. Um, so again, that took strength. That took courage. So again, I don't know. I guess I'm just feeling a lot of strength here. I think you're pretty amazing. All right, Pile 2, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3, if you chose November, then this one's going to be your reading. I guess, uh, you know, we're waiting until next year here. Um, it's kind of far away, but not not outrageously enough but we'll see what's going on here nine of cups page of pentacles eight of cups queen of swords two of cups hmm all right well I don't know. I'm getting conflicting things here. Um, uh, what I think is happening is you're walking away from something. Because you finally got clarity on it. Like you finally are sure what, sure what you want and you know what to do. You just got that knowledge, right? You, you gain the clarity. You gain the wisdom. So you're going to be walking away from something, all right? But that is going to lead you to something much better. That could be leading you to your soulmate. It could be leading you to uh, new money. So uh, you're definitely getting some kind of a wish come true. So if you're looking for a new job, it kind of feels like you might be walking away from an old job to get a new job with this page of pentacles. That's news of money. Usually the page, the page brings news of money. So I think now that you, you'll have clarity, you'll be like, yeah, um, I'm moving on. But then, then the wrench gets thrown in here where the soulmate comes up. Now soulmates don't have to be romantic. So maybe you're going to be working with a soulmate, a friend, somebody, a family member, somebody who's close to you. Right. So it could be that. But I kind of feel like it's double. I kind of feel like you're walking away from an old job to get a new job. And then you're going to find your soulmate. So I think you're getting two benefits, more money and new love. Or the new money is really going to benefit the soulmate relationship that you have in some way. Maybe it'll give you more freedom, more time to spend with each other, or maybe, you know, you can travel more or I don't know. It just feels um, beneficial for a soulmate relationship, but I definitely feel like you're getting a new job for some reason. Let's get, let's just go with that for now and, and uh, see what other cards come out. If the story changes, the story will change. But right now, they're kind of leading me to believe that you're going to be switching up jobs and they're giving me confirmation on that. So, but you're going to have obstacles to overcome. What are those obstacles though? Uh, 
figuring out how to get the new job, figuring out how to interview with the old job not finding out, that could be obstacles. That, so that will tie in, that would make sense. A chain of events that are gonna affect your life. Again, here's that news. I think you're getting news that's gonna change your life. You're getting news of a new job opportunity, which is gonna cause you to interview and get this new job and walk away from an old job. That would be a chain of events, which might lead you to a soulmate, which again, a chain of events. Kind of makes sense, right? Still making sense, so we're still going with it. Hearing messages from spirit. I'm a channel for, I'm a clear channel for spirit. All right, so this is saying that you're getting clarity. You're going to have that inner wisdom. You're going to know what to do, right? You know what to do you're not confused this is going to be for your highest good and you know it because you probably spirit has been telling you or giving you hints or communicating with you in some way showing you signs all right we like that there isn't a soul on this planet who doesn't crave your approval well that's an interesting card so that just means that you're highly thought of, that people value you, appreciate your opinion. So um, I don't know how that ties in, but I like the card. All right, let's just keep going. Maybe it'll tie in in a little bit. Power. You have power. You have more power than you realize. Oh, it's starting to tie in, but I'm not quite connecting the dots. So it's like you're more powerful than you realize because there are people who really admire you, who look up to you. So um, maybe what you're doing or what you're going to be doing is, is kind of setting an example for someone. Again, let's keep going because I don't know but that I like I like it it feels good I like where it's going but I haven't connected the dots completely yet but maybe you're starting to I, I keep getting confirmation that what I'm saying is right so uh, they would tell me if I was wrong <laughs> yes we would that's what they just said to me um, puffin partnership Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a bringer of joy. Let your community nourish and protect you and ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So uh, working together with somebody, again, maybe you're working with your soulmate here. Um, uh, but I, I just feel like you're appreciated. I feel like you're looked up to, you're appreciated, people really uh, value you. I just feel like really good from all this. I, again, I still don't have all the dots connected, but I like it. I like it for you. Now you got love. Now we're back to love. I'm really feeling work, but now I'm getting love. And more chills. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. I think, I think you're getting a new job, and it's going to lead you to find your soulmate. I really do. I think it's going to lead you to find your soulmate. Or, like I said, at least uh, be better for you and your soulmate's relationship, this new job. Vulnerability. I think you're getting new love. Open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. I think you're finding new love. I, I, I just feels like a new relationship. It feels like a new job and a new relationship. I don't like when readings are scattered. I know this all makes sense. I, I know it's all tied together. I feel the connection. I just don't see the connection. <laughs> I'm just not connecting the dots, but I feel it. Like, I know it's all connected. I just don't like being able to give you, like, the story, to you know, to, to 
present the story to you. I don't know. Feels like new new work, new money. I mean, new love. <laughs> and then you get the phoenix. <laughs> Which is, how's that for happily ever after? Um, again, showing the world that you can overcome issues, that you can overcome problems, that even when things you think are dead, you can rise from those ashes and prove yourself because you're more powerful than you know. Again, I hope this makes sense to you, but um, great energy. It's really good stuff, really great energy. So come November, hopefully it makes a little more sense of what's, you know, uh, may, may be coming in for you, but um, it looks good. Let's just pull charms. Ooh, sorry, yawning again. All right, what do we got here? All right, let's move November out of the way. You don't need that. We have the key to success. We have a happy face. So lots of reasons to smile, right? Something's going to put a big smile on your face. We have abundance. Now we have a wheelbarrow and the shovel. So again, I'm feeling like it has to do with work. You really do. Like work is going to bring in abundance, which is going to put a smile on your face. You have the key to success. That means you're going to be doing well. Things are going to be balanced for you now. Like things are more, you're more in alignment with things. You have the airplane. And you know what? I almost mentioned travel before where I, I was, the way I was going to mention it was like, Maybe you you travel for work and now you won't have to, so that spends you more. That makes your relationship stronger with your soulmate because you're not away as much. I don't know, um, but uh, maybe maybe you'll be able to travel with your soulmate. I don't know, but we got the monkey. The monkey's about family. Um, you know, taking care of family. Again, here you have the puffin teamwork. Working together, monkeys work together. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping this makes sense. We have Jaguar, so you're gonna be protected. Everything's gonna work out for you. You're gonna be okay. Like nothing's gonna come. You're not gonna come to any harm. You've got the tree for stability, and then finally you got the whale for greatness. So I don't know. I think there might be a big change come next fall. A big change for you between now and then um, I don't know I think you have something to look forward to I'm not exactly sure sure what but it feels really good it does I like it a lot for you so I think you're you're on the right path so keep doing what you're doing and if you get inspired to make a change I would go for it but keep your ears and eyes open because I really think you're getting some news or you're gonna hear of something you know, you might hear of a job opening that opens your eyes and you're like, oh, I'm going to go apply for that. I'm not going to tell anybody, but I'm going to go do it. You know, so keep your ears open for news. All right. That's what I have for you, Pile 3. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. All right, Pile 4. If you chose July, then this one is your reading. Let's pull some cards for you. We have Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Moon, Two of Swords, the Star. Oh, come July, you got a lot of new stuff going on. Um, all right, so you have some new new beginnings here. Uh, maybe new beginnings that you don't see. Maybe you don't. This comes as as a surprise to you. You got some exciting new stuff coming in, and it's going to cause you to have to make a decision. And uh, you're going to be worried about making that decision, but I don't know. It's kind of a wish come true. So I don't know what this is yet. We'll, I'm sure we'll figure out, but it could be uh, maybe new love coming in, and maybe you have to decide between two. 
maybe. Um, maybe it's a new job coming in that you, again, have to decide between two. Um, but something that you, that's going to take you by surprise. Like, it's, it's going to be a, a pleasant surprise, but like, wow, okay. Now I get to, I, I have an option. I get to choose. Um, I don't know. It feels exciting. It feels exciting. But let's, let's, uh, I guess get some cards and see where this is going to go. Because I'm not sure what, what it's talking about yet. Other than, you know, you have something new here. A change for the better. <laughs> well, okay. That doesn't give us any hints, but we know we know something new is coming in, so we know that there's going to be a change, and it does feel very exciting, and with the star here, it's hope, it's a wish come true, so we know it's a change for the better. Happiness, again. Don't know what kind of happiness, but yay. <laughs> Let's celebrate this. Let's, uh jump for joy because we're going to be happy this summer is going to be a good one for us all right fantastic july is going to be a good month what else have we got mending bridges i heal rifts i am a mender all right so who you who you making up with hmm who are you making up with? Who are you fixing things with? I don't know. Again, is this a love interest that you're fixing? I don't know, but you know, the passion is here. The passion is being ignited with this Ace of Wands. Like this is like, you know, the spark being lit. It's, it's gonna be good. You know, an Ace of Swords is a, a powerful new beginning it's it's an it's one full of honesty and knowledge and triumphant success all right i heart you ah oh, well here's a little bit of a clue <laughs> uh, you're bending a bridge with somebody who hearts you i heart you somebody might be coming back into your life somebody you never expected it feels really good. It feels really good. You're going to be loved. Somebody's going to come in and say, you know, I heart you. I love you. I want you. Oh, I have a big, big smile on my face. I have a big smile on my face. So I, I know you're going to be really happy about this. This is not something that you would be like, oh, no, this is not going to happen. No, this is something you're going to be really excited about. So it's, you know, with the moon here, you're not, you're not thinking about this, like who this could be. If, you know, you, this is not somebody you're thinking of. This is somebody that's going to take you by surprise. This is somebody who's going to come tell you that they, they care and it's going to ignite a fire in you. Oh, it's going to start a new beginning. Ooh, look at all this happiness and, oh, okay. <laughs> Courage. You're going to need the courage to say, okay, let's give this a shot. Let's do this. You're going to need courage here. Um, find it. Be brave. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. Your summer. Oh, summer love. You're going to have the best summer ever, it feels like. Pronghorn. Action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen sense will lead you to success. So when this person comes in to say, I heart you, what are you going to do? You're going to be brave and you're going to take action. You're going to be like, all right, let's give this a shot. Let's see where it goes. You're going to take action because it's going to be successful. This is going to be, this is going to be something amazing. I guarantee it. I'm telling you, in about six months' time, you're going to be loving life. Phoenix. Ooh. New phase. Rekindling. A change of mind. Mending a bridge, right? You're Phoenix energy. 
something rising from the ashes, something that you once thought was dead, done, over with, is going to come back, it's going to be rekindled, it's going to take you by complete surprise, complete shock, you don't see this coming. This is not somebody that you thought were, are thinking of, and uh, yeah, nice. This is six, this is the kind of excitement that I love, you know. This is the only surprise I love when it's a surprise in love. I hate surprises, but this is beautiful. This is amazing. I hope you get everything you want, and I hope it turns out to be everything that you wish for. Honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. Well, this could mean a couple different things. Usually when this card comes out, I take it as, you know, we all have um, masculine and feminine within us. So embrace the masculine energy, the divine masculine. Step into that alpha male role sometimes to have find your courage, you know, find your confidence, be brave and strong and go after what you want. But for some reason, I kind of feel like this might be, you know, ad admiring another masculine admiring somebody else you take it how it resonates it could be either or but um i'm kind of i'm kind of feeling like chemistry like strong power there strong chemistry with someone else really really exciting that's what I said. Summer loving. Have me a blast. <laughs> Dragons, slay them all. Yeah, want to know why? Because this is going to empower you. When somebody comes to say, I heart you, you're going to be like, you're going to be in your feels. You're going to be like, oh, I am more attractive than I thought I was. I am more powerful than I thought I was. Like, you're going to be able to slay all your dragons. You're going to find your courage. You are going to mend this bridge and you are going to just slay. That's it. You're just going to slay. That's it. You're going to conquer the world. Oh my goodness, pile four. I don't know who you are, but wow. <laughs> just wow. Just good for you. Let's pull you some charms. Wow, I didn't know where this reading was going, but hello. <laughs> it really turned into something amazing. All right, what do you got? Cupid. Out with the old, in with the new, sweeping away that old, old stagnant energy and getting ready for some new stuff a new commitment look at that the knot that's a commitment your angels are probably bringing this to you they're guiding you and loving you and supporting you there's love here there's abundance here there's fun here with the dolphin fun and family be brave here's your rhinoceros be brave pile four because you are going to have these epiphanies these light bulb moments and look you what, what do we have july now you have august so between july and august this summer is going to be the best summer of your life if you're in the northern hemisphere if not it's going to be the best winter of your life but come on this is so exciting <laughs> i'm so happy for you i am so happy for you it's not even funny I want this rating for me. Anyway, good for you. I'm so proud of you. This is this is just ugh, fun. It's fun. It's fun. All right, that's what I have for you, Pile Four. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment because all of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. <laughs>